hello everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to create the team section of a website so there will be three cards here each of the cards will be on of the team members so we got an image of the team member at the top then there will be the name and the designation and there will be a call button with some hover effect and this is totally responsive so if we just make the window size smaller you can see that it is totally responsive also and this is my code pen and if you want to see this in the code pen i will share the link of the code pen at the description below so don't forget to check that out so without any further ado let's get started So now I am going to create the markup for our project but before jumping into that I also added a link from the google font which will be the Montserrat the font rate will be 600, 700 and 800 so you can go to the fonts.google.com and import the font by adding the link so at first let's create a container and inside this container let's create a div with the class of grid so this class will be become the grid display of grid so it will help us to align the cards inside this div here and make them responsive so at first i'm going to create a div with the class of card so it will contain a single card here and at the top we got the image of the card so we can have a div with the class of card image inside it let's import our image so i've got some image link from unsplash.com and i'm just going to copy and paste it here so this is our image link and after putting the image so after that i'm just going to create a div with the class of card underscore body so inside it we are going to put everything so that will be the title or the person's name then the designation and the call button so let's put an h2 tag here with the class of card underscore title and after that let's add an h6 with the class of maybe designation So these two are our text, we don't need to do anything here, although we also need to add a call button. So let's create a div with the class of call underscore btn and inside it let's put anchor tag here with the class of btn underscore icon. So it will contain our icon. But there is another thing I forgot to add here which will be the font of some so i'm just going to grab the link of font awesome cdn okay it's done so i'm just going to put it here so this will be our font awesome cdn all.minified.css now inside this anchor tag i'm going to add i which will be the font awesome icon class of fas because this is a solid icon fas then fa dash phone dash alt so this is going to be our icon and we also going to add an another span with the class of circle so we need this circle for this uh, effect here or this circle here so i'm just going to grab the text and put it at the card title and card designation so we are done for the first card let's see so this is going to be our first card and i'm just going to quickly copy this first card and make two copies because we got two items here so this will be the second image and let me give the third image link here okay it's done so all we need is we need to change the name and designation 
so I'm just going to copy the name and replace it and also the UI designer also this on and we are almost done copy pasting okay now we are done let's see and this is what it looks like it is pretty ugly so now let's move on to the style.css and do some stylings in the style.css i'm just going to remove the default margin padding of the browser by giving this a margin 0 and padding 0 also the box sizing will be border box now after that let's target the body here I'm just going to give this a background color of E to E and 6 E B hope I got the hexagonal code right so this is the background color of the body let's make the font family to Montserrat okay so this is the font we have already imported here this one and the fallback font for that will be sans serif so now let's keep the body a minimum height of 100 viewport height let's make the display flex and align items center now let's save okay now let's target the container So I'm going to give this a maximum oid of 1320 pixels. This is actually I got the fellow from Bootstrap 5. So Bootstrap 5 has this new maximum oid of 1320 pixels for all its container. Let's also give this container a padding. So it will be applied in every display but it will be more visible in smaller display sizes. So we actually don't need any padding at the top and bottom. So I am just going to make it zero pixels. Sorry, only zero. And at the left and right, let's put two REM. Also, let's make it center so we can use margin zero auto. It will make them center in a horizontal plane. Let's make the height to 100%. So it will take the height of its parent element, which is in this case is body and who got this minimum height of 100 viewport height so after the container let's target the grid here so I got the name of grid because we are going to make it display grid and we want three item in a simple or single row so we need to divide the grid template columns to three portions or fractions so we can use on fraction on fraction on fraction okay now it will be divided into three fraction so we can also add some gap between the items so let's apply a three percent gap here we are going to reduce it for a smaller size display later so i think we are done let's save and see okay now let's target the card here and make the overflow hidden let's save now let's go back okay so the gap is fine it is the three percent gap here and everything is okay although the image is not okay so we are going to fix it i'm just going to make it smaller so we can see it live okay at first let's target the card image and image because this is kind of looking disturbing and I'm just going to give this a oid of 100% and let's also give this a height of auto although we don't need it it is by default auto also let's give this a border radius of 20 pixels now let's go back to the card here and for the card let's add some padding of 20 pixels and we actually have some kind of uh, gradient color for the card and 
we actually cannot do things like that with the HTML or CSS we actually cannot do designing with it so I have actually created the design in Figma first so we can actually directly copy the code from here the color or anything so this is the box the background color of the card will be like this so I'm just going to select it which is this rectangle here and it got this linear fill so I'm just going to inspect it and in here you can see that it got this background color of this fellow and box shadow so I'm just going to grab these two and let me minimize this let's paste it here and now we got this background color so let's also add and we need, need to add a border radius so let's add a border radius of 30 pixels now the round this corner should be rounded and we want the text at the center so we are going to use the text align center now they are at the center okay everything is fine so far now let's target the card body here and we actually need to add some padding so for the top let's uh, start with the padding here so from the top let's say we want 26 pixels padding and left 10 pixels and at the bottom let's increase it to 36 pixels so it now looks like this we actually don't need to put four values here so it will be applied for the top it will be for the bottom and it will be for left and right now we don't need to do anything with the card body let's target card title so for the card title we want the font weight to be bolder so we imported the 800 font weight so now it looks like this let's increase the font size a little bit maybe 32 pixels after that let's change the color but before that let's add a trace transform of upper okay upper case will be fine sorry we should use capitalize upper case looks ugly now after that let's change the color a little bit i got a hexagonal color code here so it will be two five two six two c okay it is almost the same but anyway so after that we also need to add some padding at the bottom here so let's do that padding bottom maybe 15 pixels let's save and it looks much better now let's target the designation here so designation will be this text so we want it bigger and kind of grayish value so let's start with the font weight let's make it 600 or maybe 700 700 will be fine let's increase the font size to 22 pixels and change the color to a hexagonal color code of 959 E A F okay let's save and it is this grayish color now we are going to move on to the next interesting thing which is actually the most interesting thing here which is this uh, call button uh, let's target that so at first let's see here we got a deb with the class of call button inside it there will be a button icon and inside that there will be the icon here so let's uh, target the call btn and let's add the margin at first so we need to create some large amount of gap at the top and bottom so let's try on 40 pixels from the top left and right we don't need any margin so zero then at the bottom 40 pixels let's save now it got pretty much space around it now after that let's target the button icon and i this is a font of some icon so we can actually use the font size here so let's give it a font size of 22 pixels and let's change the color to 
on f83 and fe it is a bluish color so i think this is it so if you see the design here it got this uh, white circle so we are going to use pseudo element with this but whenever you want to use pseudo element with the icon or i you need to remember one thing that if you inspect it we can see that the icon is actually applied on the before pseudo element here as you can see if a phone alt before that contains the icon if you just unselect it it will be gone so we cannot add and before pseudo element with the font of some icon because it has already been there so it is already occupied we cannot use that but we can use the after pseudo element and that's what we are going to use let's use after sorry not here so let's target the button icon and after so at first we need to make the content blank position will be absolute so in order to make this position absolute we need the parent element a position of relative so now let's give this after a height and weight so i'm just going to give 55 pixels height and weight also the same because we need a complete circle let's also give this a background color of total white color and this is it so in order to make this circle we can use the border radius of 50 percent now we need to do some positioning right so let's add a left here let's say minus 10 pixels and top minus 10 pixels again okay where it is gone so I'm just going to comment this, sorry, remove this two and see from the inspector here of the dev tools. So let's uh, target this after and left, let's try 10 pieces. Okay, the mistake was it is in here. I could not actually see it because it was uh, below this code editor so whenever we put the left hair it is going to be in here because uh, in this case the inter body is position relative so what i am going to do is the parent element of this will be called btn so i am just going to put this a position of relative let's see if it solves the issue so let's make the position relative and then put a left hair of minus 10 pixels let's save and now here it is so it will be here uh, if we put a display of inline block because by default this call btn will be taking the interoid because tv is a uh, block level element but if you want to make it inline block it will only take this much space so it will be right there now we on the icon above this after so we can use a z index of minus on here now it's gone so let's add a z index with the call button of 99 and now it's solved so it will pull the call button above this box at the before this background color or this box has a z index of on by default so when we put the minus on value here it is going to be behind this card so it it was invisible now it is top of the box now we need to position it so left and let's also add a top of minus 10 pixels now we are going to position it properly let's target the after here and left let's increase the value here actually decrease the value and we need to push it at the top so i think this is perfect okay I'm just going to settle with this value. So I'm just going to copy this two and replace it here. There is a small issue here. I got the height 55, but it is 50. That was a mistake. Okay. 
now we need to do that again so I think this fellow is okay so again let's do that now it's perfectly fine so we also got some box shadow with this if we go there and target this on I think this is it so we got a back box shadow a little bit so I'm just going to copy the code and put it here so now it got this nice box shadow so now what we are going to do is we are going to create this circle so that's why I have added the span with the class of circle so let's target the circle here and at first we need to give this a position of absolute also background a box shadow but before that let's give this a height and weight so I'm just going to try 110 pixels also the same weight 110 pixels also there will be the border radius of 50% because it is going to be totally circle now let's make the display block now let's go to the figma here and target this on so we got the background color and the box shadow so I'm just going to copy all of this and put it here so this is our circle and now we need to position it properly so let's add left minus 50 pixels top minus 50 pixels that should not be okay so we also need to add a z index and we need it behind this button icon after so it got z index of minus 1 we need the value below that so let's try minus 2 now it will be behind it now let's target this circle and play with this value a little bit and see what value makes them center I think uh, 45 uh, let's uh, settle with 46 46 it is kind of better so I'm just going to copy this and replace this left and top okay now it's perfect so we also want to add and hover effect with that so as you can see I got this box shadow for the hover effect here so what we can do is whenever we are going to hover on this call this anchor tag here which got the button icon when I hover on that we want the chance to be happen at the circle so let's target the circle and change the box shadow so we got the box shadow here I'm just going to copy this and paste it here now it is working but there is no transition effect so let's add a transition here transition will be applied on everything let's say 0.3 second is in out now it looks better let's also change the icon color a little bit we got the icon color from here this is the color this is kind of deeper or darker than this color so let's target the button icon over and it will be applied on the eye or the icon let's make the color to this one we need to put a hexa here now it is fine but we also need to add the transition with the icon and we are perfectly done so it is done for larger size display but 
for a smaller size display it looks terrible so I'm just going to inspect it and do some responsive design so we need to break it down into different rows whenever it cross this breakpoint of maybe uh, this one 1024 so we are going to add an breakpoint for this a media query for this breakpoint whenever the display size will be smaller than 1024 these three columns will be collapsed and there will be a single item in a sim single row so let's do that let's add a media query here media actually i can see the shortcut but i like to use it that way only screen sorry the screen was already there and max on it that will be 1024 pixels and whenever that will be smaller than 1024 let's target the grid here make the grid template columns only on fraction so that will be single item in a row let's also reduce the gap a little bit i'm just going to make it two percent so it looks fine so up to this point it is looks fine but whenever the display size become a smaller like from this breakpoint it is kind of looking uh, not good and for a smaller size mobile display it doesn't look good there is too much padding here and the text is so much big for this breakpoint so we are going to add an another media query for 425 pixels breakpoint so i'm just going to grab this on and paste it here but in this case the breakpoint will be applied on 425 pixels now we don't need to do anything with the grid but at first let's target the container I think the padding here is too much so I'm just going to reduce it a little bit so okay now let's make the padding to 0 and on REM so it will be smaller now let's target the card here the card got too much padding so I'm just going to make it reduced let's make the padding to 12 pixels and let's target the card title let's make the font size to 26 pixels it will look better and this uh, designation is too big so let's make it a smaller designation will be let's give it a value of 18 pixels it's fine now let's target the call button and it got the margin so we need to reduce the margin a little bit it was maybe on 20 pixels at the top so i'm just going to make it 100 pixels left and right it was zero and it will be zero here and at the bottom let's try 25 pixels so now it's fine and for a smaller size mobile display it looks great so this is it there is nothing to do here it is totally responsive and i will share the link of the code pen and don't forget to follow me in the code pen because i'm just going to put more and more projects in the code pen and if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe it will really help me out Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.